Welcome to Tutorial Video 22.6. In this video, we're going to look at an example of using the print macro to raise a virtual chicken. So we've now learned how we can display things in different ways. We've looked at the include macro, how we can include the contents in one passage and another, and we've also looked at the print macro, how we can create output using different expressions within Sugarcube. We saw an example previously when we looked at the print macro, how we can use calculations to do things like present the percentage based on the data. So the internal data would be one thing and what is presented to a reader is another. And this is how the print macro is incredibly useful to us. Well, what if we could start to create more complex output using the print macro and its alias? One of the ways we can start to think about this is by creating output based on various ranges or various values. So when working with the if macro, we can have the print macro print different things for us. If the value is one thing, it will print one value. If the value is another thing, it will print a different value. This allows us to create more complex things based on our knowledge of working with the if macro and now in concert with the print macro itself. Let's look at an example of how we can do this. So I have a start passage right here and I'm setting chicken happiness to zero and this is a story variable so I will be using it in another passage. So then let's move over to raise a chicken but right before I do that let's remind everyone of something. We can write text within Twine Stories. We can also, of course, use emoji. That's also valid. So notice I'm doing something a little bit silly here. I'm using three different usages of the if macro. In each case, I'm also using the print macro. And in each case of that, it's printing out a different corresponding emoji. Again, perfectly valid. Emoji is just another form of text. So here I have an egg, and then I have a chick, and then I have a chicken. And in each case, it's corresponding to different ranges of chicken happiness. Less than one, is one, or greater than one. In each case, I'm also using the link macro here, which again runs silently. It ignores all output in a pattern we've seen in previous videos. So we can have the text of the link and then where we want to go as a result. I want to go to raise a chicken, which happens to be the same passage. And we saw this pattern of working with the link macro when we want to refresh the entire passage. So in this case, we can see the current happiness, chicken happiness, and we also are using the print macro each time to print, depending on the value of chicken happiness, the current state of the chicken. And so we can raise a chicken, as it were. So let's go ahead and play this somewhat silly story and then look at again how we're using the print macro in this particular case. Raise a chicken. Take care of the chicken. Current happiness is zero. Current happiness is one. Current happiness is two. Notice we progressed through three different stages of a chicken. Now, of course, I could have used far different values. We could have changed the ranges and done much more complex stuff. But the example still stands as how we could use the print macro to print various things. So we saw how we could use the print macro with expressions, 2 plus 2, or create a percentage, or even work with as alias to do the same thing. Now as we start to work with the if macro in concert with the print macro, we can start to print more complex things. And this is just a taste of what we can do as we get more into more complex stories. So think of the print macro as a way to create the output that you want. Again, we can use variables within passages, but now we can start to use the if macro and other combinations of macro with the print macro to print various things if we want it. Remembering that we can work with expressions with the print macro. We saw two plus two as well as a percentage in a previous video. We can also start to do emoji like this, keeping it within quotation marks. So as we build on this knowledge, we can again start to create much more complex output working with our existing knowledge of the if macro and the print macro. Thanks for watching.